Welcome to Loomly. In this video, you will learn how to create a new calendar, connect your social media accounts, and invite collaborators. From your dashboard, you can create a new calendar by clicking on Add New Calendar. This takes you to the new calendar wizard, which guides you in creating a calendar step-by-step. -step. All settings within this wizard can be updated later in the calendar settings. First, upload a logo image, enter a calendar name, and set a time zone. Then click Continue. The time zone of the calendar will define the publishing time of your posts. Here is a quick tip. You can set your account's time zone independently from each calendar's time zone. This is useful if you live in a time zone that is not the same as your calendar's audience. Next, it's time to connect your social media accounts. In a calendar, you can connect one account from each social media platform. If you want to connect multiple accounts from the same social media platform, you can create multiple calendars. In fact, you can create as many calendars as you need. A quick tip, when creating a post, you can clone it to multiple calendars, making the process of managing multiple accounts quick and easy. To connect each account, hit the corresponding green Connect button and make sure to accept all permissions from the social media channel. Once you have connected all your accounts to the calendar, move on to the next step by clicking on the Next button. Then, select the approval workflow that best suits your needs. If there is only one collaborator in charge of reviewing and approving posts, we recommend selecting the Light workflow, which automatically schedules posts that have been approved. The original workflow is the most comprehensive option. This workflow is best when multiple collaborators typically approve posts. Finally, the Zero Workflow option lets you skip approval altogether, going from draft to scheduled or published posts in just one click. A quick tip, Loomly also allows you to create custom workflows using assignment triggers and state guards in your calendar settings. You are now ready to create your first posts by clicking on the green New Post button at the top right of the screen. Whenever you need to edit your calendar settings, just click on the gray calendar settings icon from your calendar toolbar. Here are some settings you can adjust for each calendar. In the Options tab, you can update the default view to list view or calendar view, change the default sorting order of your post in list view, and enable or disable your loom.ly URL shortener. You can also set up two-factor authentication on your calendar by checking the box next to Require Two-Factor Authentication in order to access this calendar. Bring your approval workflow into Loomly and invite your collaborators. They will only have access to the calendars you invite them to, and you can invite collaborators to one or several calendars. When you invite a collaborator, you can specify their role, which comes with different levels of permissions. Each unique person you invite counts as one collaborator in your plan. If you invite the same person to multiple calendars, they will only count as one user in your plan. In the Roles tab, you can create and edit custom roles. In the Slots tab, you can create scheduling slots based on your preferred posting schedule to maximize your audience engagement. In the Workflow tab, you can build a custom workflow by defining assignment triggers and state guards. Never run out of inspiration with the hundreds of social media events and holidays provided by Loomly. You can also add custom post ideas that are relevant to your industry and audience. You can also automatically receive post ideas related to X, formerly known as Twitter, trends based on location of your choice by connecting an X account to Loomly. Finally, you can also add RSS feeds to your calendar that will create either post ideas or draft posts automatically from RSS entries. Now. Let's take a look at the different views of your calendar. This is List View. Inspired by the spreadsheet layout we all know, it shows a detailed summary of your posts, featuring information like the date and time, subject, format, copy variations, post date, and assignees, as well as comments if there are any. You can interact with all your posts from this view, including updating the post date from pending approval to approved, assigning posts to different teammates, or leaving comments. You can also head to Post View for even more details. On the flip side, Calendar View was designed with social media content planning in mind and offers a higher level overview of your posts for the month. Here, you can drag and drop posts to another date, create quick posts as content placeholders, and ungroup existing posts to reveal any fine-tuned channel variations. 
For example, if you have different posting days and times per channel for a specific post, ungrouping posts will let you see their exact posting time. You can also preview the copy and media that is scheduled for each social channel on a post. If your manager prefers to see an entire month of content, you can notify them and also export the calendar or list views to collaborate offline. All Calendars View provide an overview of all posts from all calendars in one place. You can toggle between List View and Calendar View from here. Last but not least, when you need content inspiration, the Post Idea View brings you events and holidays for every day of the year and allows you to create your own custom post ideas, which you can set to be recurring. Loomly's Analytics Dashboard allows you to dive deep into the performance of all the posts in your calendar, whether they are published via Loomly or not. We offer two types of analytics, Basic and Advanced. You'll have immediate access to Basic Analytics, and then Advanced Analytics will be enabled as soon as your team has created five posts in Loomly. Advanced Analytics provides additional metrics related to your account and posts, such as account growth, engagement, reach, likes, and much more. This helps you understand which posts perform the best, so you can use those insights to continually improve your social media content strategy. You can also filter by date range and by labels. Plus, you can export your data in a CSV or PDF file and schedule reports to be delivered straight to your inbox. Finally, Interaction centralizes engagement from your audience so you can engage with your community by replying to their comments, messages, and mentions. You'll see a notification pop up in your toolbar whenever a new interaction is available. You can assign collaborators so you never miss a message and create saved replies to speed up your response time. Enable interactions by clicking on the Activate button. And that's it for today. You should be ready to get started with Loomly, so log into your dashboard now. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact our team, either through the chat on our website or via email at contact at Thanks for watching this tutorial.